Okay, so the craziest thing happened to me this morning. Um, I shot a fisher. This is what a fisher looks like. You're probably wondering what the heck this thing is. Um, it's the most badass weasel in this area. Um, these guys shred squirrels, rabbits, our barn cats. This is why we usually have new barn cats every year is when these guys move in, it's chaos. But um, anyways, I shot him with a flintlock, a 45 caliber flintlock patch round ball. Like after I shot it, kind of just light bulb went on. I'm like, I wonder when the last time a fisher was shot with a flintlock in Manitoba or anywhere else. Like super cool. Like we're probably talking 150 years if I was to guess. But uh, yeah, anyways, a lifetime hunt for me like this. I don't think this will ever happen again, um, but absolutely cool. I just wanted to share it. Um, but after my deer hunt that I was trying to do, um, I was going to do a little bit of a, I guess, a closer video to our, our newsletters and whatnot. And just um, say thank you for everyone who, you know, opened up our newsletter, watched our videos. And I got so much support, uh, you know, through guys calling and sending emails and messages and whatnot just telling me to keep my chin up kind of thing and keep on doing what you're doing. It's awesome. Um, even people I've never met before, you know, even with the migration report, like I was having people, you know, I've never met, like I said, are like totally emailing me and, and doing the thanks for doing this. Going to keep up with you, you know, through YouTube and whatnot. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it kind of, it, it makes sense. That's what I could, that's what I could help out with this year. Cause you know, that Canada U S border was closed. Uh, Pray it opens up next year. Pray it opens up damn soon for all the, the bear operators and the, you know, flying fishing guys. Like, holy smokes, we need it open quick. But um, anyways, this is a big thank you. Uh, I got to thank my wife, my kids for the support. Um, definitely a weird year um, and a weird, you know, year to come for us because didn't turn a dollar this year, but uh, we'll be okay. Bird tail has been, uh, been around for 20 plus years. It's a mature business. It was a ground up business that, um, was a slow grow. So we're, we kind of, we grew slow. So we're financially, we're at a, we're at a good place right now. Don't want to, don't want to lose another year's worth of income. That's for sure. But, uh, we'll weather this one. Um, and yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I just, I just, I guess want to say thanks to everyone. Um, hunting the pothole region, uh, it's it's pretty wild it's not easy it's uh it's a big area and it and it's it's what we hunt is the true pothole region it's not like a a pothole in every you know in a, a score four square mile area we're talking like sometimes 10 to 15 potholes in, in 160 acres and you know when you have an area like that it's it, it gets tough to hunt but it holds birds like crazy and it's it's extremely challenging um but extremely rewarding and it's 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 a it, it's a hardcore waterfowler's dream area because um, it is challenging, but there is some uh, there's there's world class hunts always in it, and you just got to get on them. So kind of what I'm saying is, if you haven't hunted the area, uh, haven't hunted with us, um, definitely try it. It's uh, I'm not just doing this so you know support the business, but it, it it's kind of like one of those ones where you know it's a bucket list trip. Um, you got to You got to see see the terrain and and see the the volume of birds and just how they 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 react in the area you know like we get guests who come up for years and then they try something new they go to alaska or they go to maryland or they'll go to argentina or different just trying different wing shooting well hunting the pothole region is kind of one of those destinations you, you just gotta you gotta try it once or a couple times or whatever but it's a it's a unique area it's super fun to hunt it's it's a hardcore waterfowlers dream hunt um it's it's not we're not luring the birds in like we're not flooding areas we're not growing you know corn or doing three-stage millet kind of thing this is birds migrating through and it's we're we're chasing mother nature's tail all, 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 until they're gone kind of thing so it is it is a madman's race which is a lot of fun it's challenging as hell but uh if you haven't done it, uh, I'd definitely try it. You know, there's quite a few operators in, in, in the pothole region in, in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Um, there's some amazing hunts to be had, but you got to try it. Pothole region is un absolutely unreal. Some of the hunts I saw this year, just awesome. Too bad we couldn't share them out, but uh, that's what, what next year is for. But anyways, 
Thank you for all your support. Uh, thanks for opening up all our newsletters and whatnot. Look forward to 2021. Um, yeah, be safe, hunt hard, and good luck this fall.